final day of the 88th Connecticut Open, and that man Peter Ballow is the reigning champion. But will he be able to defend that trophy starting the final round one stroke behind leaders Cody Palladino, Brett Stegmeier, and Max Theodorakis? It was a tight race for the first half of the day. Max Theodorakis parred his first seven holes and took advantage of the short par four eighth, almost driving the green and putting himself in perfect position to make the birdie. That putt gave him the lead for the moment, but many others were right on his tail, including Jason Thresher. Thresher carded four birdies on the day, but almost had his fifth here on the difficult 13th. His putt would look good all the way to the hole, but just wouldn't drop. Matt Shubley continued his consistent play, becoming the only golfer in the field to shoot below 70 in all three rounds. He would find himself in a tie for second at the end of the day. But it would be reigning champion Peter Ballo who would play his final round bogey free rising to the top of the field. An eagle on the par 5 10th gave him a one stroke lead which he never gave up. He would have a number of clutch par saves down the stretch including here on the 17th would tee off on the 18th hole with a three stroke lead. Ballo comfortably rolls in a par to win his second consecutive Connecticut Open on the same course where his father won his first in 1969. It means a lot more than I can explain right now, for sure. You know, I felt really good with my putter today, which was kind of a difference from the first two days. And, um, you know, I just stayed in it and had a good routine today with my putter and it, and it worked out because, um, you know, I didn't make a bogey and, uh, you know, I missed a handful of greens. So to have enough one putts like that is pretty good. The way it's been um, with the passion of my father, uh, the struggles that I've had so far this year in playing, um, to kind of be able to gather myself this week, um, which is probably the hardest week since uh, April, um, to be able to do this is it's kind of speechless. I think he'd be just as speechless as last year um, with just kind of everything, with knowing that it was or a place that he wanted. Um, and for me to win my second at, the, at a place that he did, I, you know, I think it would put him kind of in that same category as, as speechless. That's it for the Connecticut Open. A great field and a tough last day, but it's Peter Ballow on top once again as the 88th Connecticut Open champion.